Good morning, everyone. As you can hear from my voice, um, it is the very morning of my Saturday, and I'm gonna be actually sharing with you how I spent my Saturday. So it's gonna be it's still too early for me. Oh. So it's gonna be a video where I show you a day in my life, but uh, at home version. So usually what I do throughout the day when I'm home, and a lot of people have been requesting for that. So I hope you enjoy, and this is gonna be a really long and casual one. So go get your popcorn, or go get your kimchi jjeon, or go get your nachos, or whatever floats your boat. If you guys have seen my latest video, it's probably the one that um, I show you my skin that freaking flipped, man. Let me show y'all how it is right now, okay? Look at this, look at this beautiful marks of victory, of patience, and of endurance. Look at this. So if I touch my skin, I still feel a lot of whiteheads, the ones that would not come off. Um, it was too much to a point where I went to the dermatologist and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't pop it all by myself. And I don't know which ones I should pop and I shouldn't because it was just too much. And they were like, oh my gosh, your skin flipped. So they were like, oh, it's so good that you came here and that we're only gonna get the ones out that we need to immediately. And then the other ones we can't, let's leave it and hope that it will calm down. So they told me to uh, use only products that helps to calm and soothe and moisturize my skin. And one of the reasons why you do get whiteheads is because your skin is so dry and because of the sun and you know, it's been so hot the weather itself. So they said it's probably all combination, like you didn't moisturize your skin. Uh, number two, you didn't exfoliate really well. Or number three, you used something wrong and which I did with the mask. So all in all, it was that, yes. But I just feel so grateful and thankful for every single one of you that left comments for that video saying like you guys are going through the same thing and you guys left me like your specific situation so that, that really helped me a lot and it kind of reminded me that I should do videos more of uh, that can help you guys too. So anyways, yes, that's that. I'm so sad that I was finished with the um, Kodam toner. I really like that. I feel like that hydrated my skin well, deeply and it really helped to calm my skin. So I'm gonna use another product that I can really trust. This is Iope, and this is also really mild and it conditions my skin really well. So I just thought this will be the smartest choice. And with these parts, it's fine, but if I go here, it just hurts so bad. Okay, so I'm done and I'm gonna pick that up later. Okay, because it's my room and no one else is gonna pick that up for me. But um, anyways, so the next step that I will usually do is put on a serum and then a cream and then I will be chilling. But usually for the days that I am home, I love, love using masks or sheet masks in the daytime. Uh, for the days that I go out, I don't have time for that. And even if I do, I really don't like it getting in my baby hairs. Like, you know, I'm like, I took a shower, I'm looking good. And if I use a sheet mask, it probably like, it wets this part and I have a lot of baby hairs and it just kind of looks oily and blah. So I think for me personally, I love using sheet masks or masks when I am home. And I'm gonna show you some of the sheet masks and masks that I've been loving because my skin has flipped out and I'm only using certain products that I can trust that will not make it worse. Um, I'm using, um, I'm from Vitamin Tree Mask. This is one of my favorites from I'm From. I feel like this one really helps to kind of detox and really purify my skin, getting all the gunk out. And I love the, oh, hello. I love the honey one for my inflammation and overall dryness, but I feel like right now mine's like whiteheads plus zits plus inflammation. So I just want to make sure that I don't do anything or I don't use products that are too rich or too nourishing that it can break the other parts out. So this is the texture of how it looks like. It's literally like a jam and it's really thick and when you put it on your face, it, you look like a poo person or you put poo all over your face. But this works and this is a really ma good mask. Um, but today I feel like it's really hot still in Korea. So I'm gonna use a sheet mask. So babies, come along with me. 
Do Mama Dirty House. I'm gonna clean it in my next holiday, which is next month. But okay, so okay, so this is the drill. This is my real refrigerator right now. I didn't clean it for filming. I didn't do anything, but I do have a lot of products here. Uh, cosmetic products mixed with my food with my honey mustard. Yes. Um, I love this. This is probably 23 years old neck mask. I've been really caring about my neck wrinkles a lot. So this has helped me tremendously because it's just easy. I can make my own, but it's just easy to use. It kind of looks like that right now, like a diaper. Maybe I'll use this for my neck. Um, but I don't want to use anything right now that can irritate my skin. So oh, this is a good one that I showed you probably before with unboxing. I haven't used this yet, so I'll let you guys know if I do. And this is something that I am looking forward to using. This is Oxygen Suticals uh, Vitamin um, C plus E Serum. And okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They're telling me to close the thing. I'm so excited because it's a 17% and I feel like the 21% was a little bit too harsh for me. That's right here, this one. Uh, for my sensitive skin, this was kind of too harsh for me. So I love using the vitamin drop, which is probably... <laughs> is it just me or is all households like this? Tell me the truth. Hold on. see it okay I gotta organize my life okay so this is the vitamin drop yes it is with a little bit of flavor stuck there probably but I love this and it has oxidized a little bit like that but it's fine um, I think that's very slim to a point where it didn't affect the effects of the serum but if you are curious of the oxidization Oh my goodness, come on. If you're curious about if you can use your serum or not, if it's too oxidized or not, you can take a picture of it and send it to the CS at wishtrend.com and then they probably let you guys know. Like they can't be for sure 100% through the pictures because it's a little bit different, but they do give you an answer like, oh, you can use it or you shouldn't use it. So I have all of my favorite sheet masks here. I told you about this one, right? This is the uh, Air Layer red pore um, mask. I love 23 years old for their modeling mask and for their sheet mask. This one kind of fits your butterfly zone and it's very mild and it's perfect to use for the daytime so it doesn't get in my baby hair. And this is my favorite uh, these days too but I can't use it right now because my skin has been in the best condition. This is Kelamins, the brightening mask. Uh, this is a stem cell mask. If you haven't... I'm okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna close it and talk. I think that makes sense. Yeah, so this has been one of my favorites. Really good for brightening, the brightening one, and the, it's really good for wrinkles. So I've seen good results with that, but the only thing is that right now, you know, I just, I don't wanna risk anything, so I don't wanna use that. And another one that I really love, 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 I'm probably gonna use this today. This is the Dewey Tree uh, Chokukse Green Sheet Mask, the barrier deep mask barrier green enzyme this is so good for just calming and soothing your skin so i've been loving this and this feels like the most expensive the most luxurious sheet mask i've ever felt the sheet is fabulous um yeah my other sheet mask that i really like this is probably the the midnight blue calming mask but when it was a sample like i got all the samples like yeah so you know the perks about working at wish trend and ah, this one is also really good too for brightening. But right now, okay, um, okay, lady, okay, 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 shut your mouth, okay. So this is really good for brightening too. This has a step one, like a toner, and then you have an ample, and then you have the sheet mask, and you can just finish off there. Um, or for me, I finish off with the cream. Now this is like a whole package for brightening and this is really good too. But I feel like this one is too strong for me right now, so I'm not gonna use that. So maybe I'll just go with this one, my trusty little, this one. I love Dewey Tree, I've been loving them so much these days. Uh, they also have another sheet mask that's really good. But all of their sheet masks is really mild and good. So yeah, today uh, I'm gonna use this one.
Did you guys know that you shouldn't put on sheet mask on your dry face? I mean, you can. Technically, you can. There's like no rules like that. But the thing is right now, as you can see, my face dried up as I was talking to you guys and getting the sheet mask. And I just did not want to put my sheet mask on a dry skin. Because the reason is if you uh, use a toner and a cotton pad before you use a sheet mask, it's more effective. You're actually maximizing the effect and making sure that the effect or the serum and the sheet mask is going to go uh, deep in your skin quicker. Because uh, imagine a really dry surface and it's just dry, black, and it's just very hard but if you are using a toner and a cotton pad you're actually removing all the leftover dead sebum um, you're moisturizing it so you're kind of like getting it prepped and ready for to soak in anything that you're gonna use afterwards so um, if you haven't seen my video of how to properly use a sheet mask you can check out that right there and I have another video that actually uh, answers all your uh, Q&A's like Things like, oh, is it okay to use different kinds of sheet masks every time? Like, is it okay to switch it up? Or like, how many times should you use a sheet mask? And things like that. The basics. So please check out the video if you're curious. I think um, that has gotten the most views. It's like 600,000 views and stuff. I think that's the most popular video on my channel. So check out that video and the other video too. I'll link it in the card over there. So I'm going over again making sure that I'm hydrating it just getting it ready and plumped this just feels amazing ah! okay so since this one has a lot of like excessive serum like this one has a lot a lot this one always leaves like and drips down so I'm gonna squeeze some out and put that on first so I just get it evenly on my face and I get the serum evenly soaked in and then the sheet mask I just wanted to show you this the, 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 I love this so much <gasps> look how thin it is usually the thin soft ones comes with like another plastic things because they're so thin it's not gonna like be able to survive it's probably gonna like stick all together but this is so good and I never waste I probably put this like in my leg or arm just keep it there for a sec <gasps> look how thin this is and this is so soft I can literally say this is the best texture for just sheet mask itself this is the best one I've tried and I like the Claire's uh, Rich Moist Soothing one too because it's like the gauze type and that's pretty soft too but this one beats everything so when my skin's irritated I think I just keep on reaching for this one especially when I'm having crazy breakouts like this amazingly this sheet mask fits like this part is probably because I have bad perf 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 proportion proportion I have that proportion on my face but look how fabulously it sticks there's like nothing that kind of doesn't stick except for this part mm hmm and I really don't like my skin to be out in the open and dry like this for 20 minutes that I'm gonna wait so what I, I personally love doing is I get the rest of the serum I don't think there's gonna be a lot because I used most of it yeah I get the rest and I put it on this area. I like using an aloe gel or I like using a cream that I'm gonna put on afterwards or a, or a really nice serum, whatever floats your boat. But I like putting that on in the open area. So right now I'm using my favorite, 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 favorite aloe. This is a really good aloe gel. It's mild. This is oxygen suitables too. It's redness soothing aloe vera gel. Any of the products that I talk about today is not sponsored, just to give you a heads up. It's products that I'm currently really using and I like. If I didn't want to use a sheet mask, if I didn't want to use a mask, I just wanted to go on with my regular day at home, I would have used a serum and a cream and that would have been it. But for days that you are resting, I do recommend that you do take the time to do an extra something for your face. 
I just feel like it's gonna be worth it. But anyways, I'm just gonna chill and probably watch some TV so y'all can come with me today because it's this uh, uh, routine for the day that I stay home and it's the routine uh, or a day in my life video. So let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off with my cream. Um, you don't have to use a serum after the sheet mask if you don't want to, but I like using it because, and I wanted to kind of show you what I've been using these days. So um, right now I'm using currently Oxygen Suticals Moisture Aqua Serum. This is wonderful because it, even if just a small amount, it goes a long way. I just use about maybe this much for the whole face and it's kind of a serum that isn't sticky, that isn't oily, it just feels really comfortable. And I really like the texture. And moving on, I'm gonna use the Tekka Cream, the By Wish Trend 1% Barrier Cream. And this is gonna act as uh, just a, a, a acne patch, but a one that you put on. I just want to make sure that I protect these parts. And it's not like I popped it right after. If I popped it right after, I would put, actually I would disinfect it and then put this on right away. But right now, it's, it's already been popped uh, for two days now. So I can do it at the last step of skincare. Voila! This is basically my day routine that I do when I'm staying at home. Oh